Mr. Vice President, Governor, scientists, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen. We meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. If you have just tuned in to this special bulletin, Washington has confirmed that yesterday, the Soviet Union successfully launched history's first man-made satellite into space orbit around the Earth. There is every indication that this is simply beyond our capabilities, that this endeavor will fail, and that the machine's occupant will pay for that failure with their life. Yet out here at this very moment sits a rocket waiting in the night for what may be the greatest death-defying stunt ever brought. T-minus 10. On an untried mission, Seven. to an unknown celestial body, Six. Five. or the eyes of the world, Four. now look into space. Two. One. Taking control. Flight booster SOS for me shut down. This crew represents the best of humanity. This world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. What's the problem? I saw something outside the ship. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What happened here? What are you talking about now? What did you find? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. ISS, this is Houston. I don't know what you're talking about now. Explorer, this is Houston. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Mission abort. Goodbye. Shields up. Red alert. Kappa. You are dying. All the crew are dying. Come on! Come on! Hey, we've got a problem here. Space is disease and danger after darkness and silence. Ripley. What sea? Last survivor of the Nostromo. But what it's brought back with it. Signing off. A scene from out here. Everything seems different. 
behind beds. Space is boundless. I need you to come to Solaris, Chris. I need your help. I don't know how to describe what we are experiencing up here. We can't even agree amongst ourselves what is what is happening. stars came along right as we needed it. Stepping out into the universe, we must confront the reality of interstellar travel. We must reach far beyond our own lifespans. We must think not as individuals, but as a species. hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. <laughs> 